Hello friends and neighbors, welcome to the Blind Piper channel. I'm Josh, I'm the Blind Piper. Appreciate you tuning in today. Well, if you watched the last video, um, I mentioned I was gonna do another Boswell tobacco review on a Pennsylvania Dutch Treat, another cherry blend. Um, in case you haven't watched any of the other videos, I'm, I'm a big cherry fan. And uh, my favorite is Colt Blood Red Moon. If you haven't watched that uh, review, uh, go check that one out as well. Um, I'll show you this one. <clears throat> Hopefully, oh, as I mentioned before, I'm I'm learning all this camera stuff. So if you can't see this, uh, I apologize. But it is a, a ribbon cut. Um, it's not so much me or the camera. It's I got a new tripod and I'm learning how to position it. I love these little jars. <clears throat> All right, let's get this fired up. Hope everyone's doing well this weekend. It is a it is a cool breezy weekend here in Kentucky. And if you hear any uh, bunch of background noise, one of the neighbors just happened to decide to get out on his four wheeler and run up and down the road while I'm making my video. And of course, all the dogs around decided to start barking too, y'all. Yeah, if you make videos, y'all probably know how that goes. Hmm. And now it's not just a four wheeler, there's a dirt bike out there too. Um, I'm smoking this today in my uh, Peterson 86. I normally reserve this for cherry blends. Uh, if you didn't see uh, my St. Patrick's Day video, uh, I mentioned that this is uh, a gift from my fiance, from a birthday gift for me. So uh, it's a it's a special pipe in my collection, my small collection. It's the only P lip pipe I have. I'm uh, still kind of adjusting to the P lip. It's it's a little different, and I and I don't dislike it. It just takes a little getting used to. Mm. Well. <laughs> All right, it's so cool outside today. I even had to flip the heater on up uh, out here and I was hoping not to have to do that. I'm, I'm ready for spring. I don't know about y'all. I just don't like cold weather anymore. I think I packed this one a little bit too tight earlier. It's uh, something about these Boswell blends are kind of easy to pack. I just kind of jump on in there. There we go. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I actually last weekend I wasn't thinking and I put some old dark fire in this uh in this pipe and uh for when I first lit it up I got a little bit of a remnants of that in there mixed with this. That was kind of interesting. Yeah, there we go. So Boswell's Pennsylvania Dutch treat. It's kind of a mouthful. Pennsylvania Dutch Tree, another cherry blend. And I just realized I got on a red shirt and a red jacket and that was not intentional for the cherry video. <laughs> so Pennsylvania Dutch Treat is a Cavendish Burley mixture. Um, as I mentioned before, I, I like Burley, and I, I like Burley to stand out. I like that that nutty, uh, the nutty accord note that it gives. I like that a lot, and uh, I would especially like it when it's blended well with something as such as this. Mm, 
Mm. This gets better every time. This is, I think, the third time I've had it this week. It's nice. Um, okay. <laughs> so, it is, in my opinion, it is uh, similar, very similar to uh, Blood Red Moon. However, it's it's totally different. Uh, in this one, to me, the the cherry is a little more pronounced in this one. It's a it's a good cherry, um, a little more artificial tasting than the, the the Blood Red Moon. To me, just has a more realistic cherry taste, which is really nice, and it's not something you find in cherry tobaccos very often. Um, Normally in a cherry tobacco, it seems like it kind of tastes like somebody melted a lifesaver, cherry lifesaver, and just dumped it in the, uh, a bunch of burley or something. But um, this one, it has a slight artificial, there's a slight metallic -y, I guess. Um, if, if you like cherry flavored candies and stuff, you know, sometimes they can have a little slight metallic -y taste, I guess, to them. Um, mm. Oh, come on now. Um, but it's it's not it's not bad. The cherryness is more pronounced than uh, Blood Red Moon, but it's it's almost it's almost like you ever had a uh, McDonald's when, when McDonald's does the cherry cream. I think it's cherry cream. I think pies. Uh, it kind of reminds me of the, of the cherries in that. It's not like super artificial, but it's it's not doesn't taste like a homemade cherry by by any means, of course. But, Mm -hmm. There we go. Um, I don't take, there's supposed to be a, a chocolate note in here as well. I don't feel like I taste the chocolate as much. And it, uh, I, I feel like the cherry and the burley kind of override that. The, the burley is a little more pronounced. And I think that's what I like about this blend. The, uh, the burley is a little more pronounced in here, along with the cherry. The uh, the chocolate to me is just kind of just kind of hanging out in the background there. It's uh, it's there, but it's not not overly noticeable. Some people may not even really notice it. Yeah, I mean when you when you start really trying to look for the chocolate uh, note, it, it's there. It's not something you're gonna fire up and immediately say, oh, chocolate. Which, by the way, uh, I don't know if anybody's tried it or not. Uh, Boswell's has one called Chocolate Cream. And uh, I've been, been tossing around the idea of trying that one. I don't, I don't know how chocolatey it is. If, if you've tried that one, put uh, down in the comments. Let me know what you think about that one. As well as this one too. If you've had this one, uh, let, let me know your thoughts on this. I, I enjoy, like I said, this is probably the I think third time this week I've had this one and I, I enjoy it. As a matter of fact, I have not had Blood Red Moon this week and um, I usually at least have that once a week. And uh, I've actually been trying to enjoy this one and get to know this blend a little bit better. I've noticed some blends that if I, if I try it and come back to it, you know, in a few weeks or so and, and uh, try it for a second time, I, it's, it's a little different to me sometimes. And as I, I mentioned before um, in one of my other videos, I'm pretty sure I mentioned it, um, I do like a lot of uh, aromatics because uh, I used to be a cigarette smoker and uh, sometimes certain blends to me just taste too cigarette-ish. And uh, some people probably say, well, Burley is a cigarette kind of taste or smell, but um, it depends on what it's in, what it's blended with. But there's just, there's certain blends to me that I, I just, I try to stay away from a whole lot because it, it just smells too much cigarette. And it might change over time, but uh, I do enjoy 
I do enjoy a good uh, aromatic. And some aromatics I don't, I don't care for. Um, one that I really enjoy a lot is a, uh, yeah, Cornell and Deal, uh, Green River Vanilla. I really enjoy that blend, but it is really goopy. Um, I mean, it is just sticky. And uh, some people mentioned about letting that dry out, you know, getting it out and dry out some, which I need to try doing that. I haven't actually done that um, because I really enjoy the blend, but I just, I can't stand how goopy it is. I almost wonder if I, uh, if I dump out the jar of that Green River and let it all dry out for, <laughs> for a little a couple hours or something and put it back in the jar if that might benefit it but I honestly I don't know <clears throat> this blend reminds me a little bit of a cherry pie um, like I said blood red moon to me I taste more of the chocolate accord but for something well, I just mentioned a few minutes ago the uh, McDonald's <laughs> cherry pies, but this this to me almost has a slight cherry pie taste to it. It even has a good taste on the uh, relights as well. Um, if I had anything negative to say about this blend, there's only two things that's negative. And what's interesting is it hasn't done it in this pipe yet. Um, I think I've, I've tried this blend and this is the third pipe I think I've put it in. It does burn a little hot. Um, the draw on it's kind of, kind of hot sometimes. And it hasn't done it on, in this pipe yet, but in my uh, Cobb and my uh, Rossi, it's a, uh, I get a little gurgle out of it, which is interesting. Um, interesting that it's not doing it in this, in this pipe yet, but um, I noticed quickly in my Rossi, in my Rossi, I usually don't get a lot of gurgle out of that pipe with, with much at all, but uh, I noticed it got, I got some gurgle in it pretty quick on this. And it's not even it's not even a goopy blend like uh I just I should have loaded it while I while I had the camera going but uh it, it's not sticky or goopy at all uh which which I've noticed with Boswell's blends I I haven't noticed any of their blends being real sticky or goopy at all um it's just it's it's a uh, oh they're the, Boswell's blends are just real good quality in my opinion all the boss I, like I said uh in my last video I've ha I haven't found a Boswell blend that I dislike. Everybody's taste is different, but uh, at least I mean I can say with Boswell's, their the quality of their tobacco and everything that they use, their uh, their blends are very well done. Um, you know, not to say that I'm gonna like every blend of theirs. Obviously, if I see something that has something a, a taste note I don't like or something, I'm not gonna buy it. But uh, everything that I have purchased from Boswell's, I, I have enjoyed. seen some people say uh, they don't like the P-Lip, the Peterson P-Lip. Um, the first time I smoked this pipe was actually Blood Red Moon. Um, my fiance like loved the smell of that one and she had bought me this pipe so of course the first thing I put in it was Blood Red Moon. But uh, I, I read where a lot of people didn't like the P-Lip because they said it's hard to get a draw on it and it's hard to stay lit. Uh, with the exception of running my mouth, I haven't really had that issue out of this at all. Uh, the P-Lips took a little bit of getting used to, but I, I haven't had the issues that I've seen other people talk about with it. Yeah. 
it uh, it's a unique. Uh, I don't know if any other. I don't know if any other pipe uh, makers have you tried to do a their version of the P lip or not. To be honest, but uh, I'm gonna attempt to show it to you if you're not familiar with it. I don't know how well I'm gonna get this on the camera, but oh, hopefully, I'll tell you what I'll do. Hold on here. Hold on. Oh, there we go. There we go. Sorry, I don't mean to be yelling at you. The uh, P lip design is for the uh, is for the smoke to come up to the roof of your mouth. That way, it's not you're not getting all that tongue bite. Which, by the way, this blend does not have tongue bite. I didn't mention that. And I don't think I mentioned that about the uh, the last one either, uh, last review I did. But I don't get any tongue bite out of this whatsoever, even on the relights. But yeah, I don't. I don't know if anybody else is a. Uh, I've never seen a uh, another version of the P-Lip from another, I'm not no pipe genius uh, professional by any means, but I've never noticed another pipe that had the P-Lip uh, design. I think I think that's Peterson, uh, Peterson specific. I've noticed with these Boswell blends that they, uh, the taste, the taste kind of round off and, uh, mellow out the more it burns down. Um, the, uh, the, the cherry in this kind of, when you, when you first start out with the first part of the bowl, the cherry is the most pronounced in it, but I've noticed as it starts burning down a little bit, the cherry just kind of rounds off and, and everything just kind of mellows out and blends together very well, if that makes sense. Y'all might be watching this going, what in the world is he talking about? I feel like the chocolate definitely comes out more as it burns down. I hadn't really noticed that before. I'm noticing it. Maybe it's this pipe bringing it out. I don't know. It is interesting how different pipes smoke different. Um, that's part of why I put this, and this is my third pipe I put this in. That's part of why I did that. Uh, it, being a blend that I like, I, I'm trying to see what what uh, pipe has the best the best flavor with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm I'm really that, that's interesting. Yeah, I, in my experience with the aromatics, the cob, I feel like I get the most flavors out of. But this right here, I'm tasting more chocolate in this than I have uh, the other times I've smoked it. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of chocolate now. That That's interesting. I really like Peterson pipes. I... I like them. I, I'd, I'd like to have a few more of them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my fiance's in there right now in the house, actually uh, watching some of my my other videos, and uh, maybe she'll watch this one, and uh, maybe she'll buy me another Peterson pipe. <laughs> I can already hear her right now. Nope. We're, uh, we're getting married in July. Been together 10, well, be 10 years actually in July. We've been together and uh, feels like we're already married. And, uh, and mo we, most people just refer to us as husband and wife. Yeah, I really enjoy this blend. 
a, a lot. Um, it's not it's not quite up to the blood red moon quality in my opinion. Um, keep in mind these these reviews are my opinion. Uh, it's not quite up to the blood red moon, but I, I do think it is a good backup or a good second choice. Um, say I run out of blood red moon, which I shouldn't. I I bought some up, but. Uh, Say I run out of Blood Red Moon and it got where you can't find it again. Um, I think this would serve as a great backup substitute. Need to trim that tree branch out there. I keep banging over here. Yeah, I'm definitely tasting more chocolate. That is just so interesting that I'm getting more chocolate out of this pipe than the others. Maybe I picked a good pipe to make this my cherry pipe for cherry blend. So I hope everybody's got good plans for this weekend. Uh, me personally, um, as I said last night in my video last night, it, it, it hadn't been a bad week, but it's been a long week and I don't know why, I'm just exhausted. Um, I've been sitting around today really doing nothing. Catching up on some other uh, YouTube presenters that I follow and watching some of their content that I haven't seen yet. and. Uh, Mm. Which reminds me, I ran across another uh, uh, presenter earlier this morning that I'd never seen before and uh, really enjoyed it. Uh, and I cannot remember the name of his channel. Oh, man, I should have I should have looked at that before I did this video, but I just now thought of it. But uh, I'll, I'll put a I'll put a link to his channel down below. He's an older gentleman and uh, just posted a video a few days ago and he was telling some old stories about being a kid and uh, growing tobacco and everything. And uh, I, I really enjoyed really enjoyed listening to his uh, stories there and enjoyed his channel. Uh, started sifting through some of his uh, older videos and everything and really enjoyed it. And if I, I could be wrong, but I, I was looking in one of the videos and he might actually be a preacher. Uh, I, I apologize if I'm wrong about that, but there was a uh, video that I believe he mentioned something about preaching a sermon. Mm -hmm. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, I decided that I was gonna do a, uh, on my reviews, I was gonna do a one to five scale. Five being the best, uh, one being the worst. And uh, I thought about doing a one through 10, but that just leaves a lot of uh, room for interpretation there. But, uh, hmm. If I had to rate this one on a, a one to five scale, now keep in mind, especially with you know these cherry blends, I mean any blend, but especially with these cherry blends, if you're not a cherry person, obviously you're not gonna like it. Um, I mean, that's a given, but common sense ain't so common no more. <laughs> it's cool outside and I swear I hear a lawnmower going other than the dirt bike going down the road. Mm. Yeah, I'm hearing a lot more somewhere down the road. Um, anyway, I'm sorry. I, <laughs> I get all rambling and off, off course and everything. So on a one to five scale, 
that's hard because my my, uh, my number kind of just changed on this because of this pipe. Maybe I should have waited till I smoked it in this pipe. And let, well, I guess I kind of did, but. I was gonna rate this a 3.5 for a, it is a, it's a good blend. I enjoy it quite a bit. Um, I was gonna rate it a 3.5 only because I didn't like how, how hot it burned and um, the gurgling I was getting out of it. But like I said, I'm not getting any gurgling in this pipe and uh, it doesn't seem to be, I'm not getting those hot draws off of it like I was either. So therefore, I think I'm gonna put this at a four. Um, I enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna put this at a four. A solid four, I like this. Um, again, if you've tried this before, uh, put in comments, let me know your opinion of it, good or bad, I'd like to hear it. Um, as always, I mean, any any comments, uh, I'd love to hear them. I, like I said, I read, I read all the comments and I, I try to respond to them in one way or another, um, but I, I appreciate the comments, I enjoy reading them. So um, yeah, definitely, definitely leave a comment. And once again, guys, thank y'all so much for all the support that y'all given me. Um, I would have never dreamed that I would end up with the amount of subscribers that I've received on this channel, um, much less the, the amount of subscribers that quick. Um, I, I really do appreciate all the support. And the YTPC is living up to its uh, reputation <laughs> majorly. Uh, I, I, it's it's uh, very humbling. Thank y'all so much. That's interesting, it just lit better now than it did. Like I said, it may have been how I packed it earlier. I kind of rushed packed it. Mm. Well, there went a little bit of gurgle. But you know what, I'ma still stay, uh, keep it at a four. I got a little bit of gurgle there, but uh, I'ma I'm still keep it at a four. Like I said, I really enjoy this blend. But uh, anyway, guys, I'm, I'm working on putting together a, uh, a special video for everybody. Uh, that I hope you'll enjoy. Um, I don't know yet when I'm a when I'm gonna get it put out, but I'm I'm working working on putting something together for you, and I really hope you enjoy it. It's just something I'd like to do for everybody. Um, I don't want to I don't want to spill the beans on it, so I'll I'll, uh, I'll keep it under my hat for now. But uh, I'm trying to put something together that I, I really hope you'll enjoy. Uh, my next review coming up. I, <clears throat> I'm trying, I'm trying to figure out what I want to review next. Um, I don't know. I'll get back to you on the review. Um, I've been on this Boswell kick lately. Actually, I might do another Boswell review. And, uh, yeah, I might do another Boswell review just to go ahead and it's like, like the Boswell series here. <laughs> But like I said, um, if you've tried this, let me know your thoughts on it for sure. I definitely would recommend this one, especially if you're a if you're a cherry person. Um, very very good blend. And if you have any other cherry blends to recommend, um, let me know about those as well. Wouldn't mind trying their uh, Boswell's cherry vanilla. See if, see if see if that's any good. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this. Hope I didn't ramble too much, and uh, I won't keep you too long. I don't want to bore you too bad here. Uh, I'm just enjoying this weekend, just relaxing, trying to do nothing before I go back to work on Monday. Um, but anyway, hope everyone's doing well, and uh, until next time. Well, I had a brain fart. I was gonna say something else before I ended this and there was something else I was gonna tell I need to start writing stuff down, taking notes uh, uh, so I don't forget stuff. I, there was something else I was gonna tell y'all. 
Mm. Mm, mm, mm. I, I know what it was. I said last night I was going to do the review on this, and I said uh, I had watched a video review on this uh, that was done a little while back, and it was Pallet and Piper. Pallet and Piper was the one that I uh, that I seen that had reviewed this, I believe. And uh, I don't remember how far back that was, but. But anyway, guys, um, I'm going to sit here and enjoy the rest of this and uh, probably head in the house and help the, uh, help the lady do some more uh, cleaning up the house today. And um, and that's about it. Honestly, I don't really have any plans for this weekend. So hope everybody has a good rest of your weekend and uh, hope everybody has a great next week. And remember, Easter is coming up. Remember the reason for the season. But until next time, blessings to all and lots of luck to you and yours.